would say it's a little bit fresh out here. We have just arrived in Hokkaido where it is a cool negative 5 degrees Celsius and we are currently on a mission to go and find some ramen so that we can defrost. Hokkaido is renowned for its fresh, high quality seafood and in these sub-zero temperatures, your best bet for staying warm is a toasty bowl of ramen. This little Michelin awarded ramen spot located inside the Kashiro Tancho market is famous for their uniquely owned fish soy broth made with local mackerel which is topped with oysters and clams. Over at the fish market, our next stop was to try Kaizen Don, a common dish in Hokkaido which is donburi or a bowl of hot rice topped with fresh seafood. We are currently seeking shelter from the sub-zero temperatures outside in a local fish market and we're going to do a fish rice bowl. So you basically go and choose the type of rice that you want and the size of the bowl and then you go up to one of the local fish vendors and choose the type of sashimi that you'd like to put on top. Alright, so step one, choose your rice. You've got daddy bear, mummy bear, baby bear, and Dex are excited. Let's do a small one, please. Thank you. All right, I've got my baby bowl of rice. Let's go get some fish. Hokkaido is Japan's most northern island, known for its rugged landscapes, volcanoes, natural hot springs and ski villages. It's remarkably stunning in the winter, despite reaching temperatures of negative 20, which I was soon about to find out. It is a very fresh negative 21 degrees Celsius today, so naturally I'm about to take off all of my clothes and get in a natural onsen hot spring down by the lake. I am the only person participating in this activity, so I am fully volunteering as tribute. Look at this steamy situation. These natural onsen hot springs at Lake Kasharo were 40 degrees and super toasty, but the only downside was finally having to get out. Not ready for this. <sighs> Figure out my route. <laughs> wow, I can't wait to lose the bombs of my feet. We hit the road and our next stop was the incredible Mount Iazan, an active volcano that has over 1,500 volcanic craters and is covered in white steam. So we have made it to the volcano and I have to say it's very active. It also smells like I am in a giant vat of eggs. I am all rushed up because we are about to go snowshoeing in the mountains. All right. <laughs> We're all on the ground, so I believe that's what we call success. <laughs> Get help. Help. This was my first time snowshoeing and it was super fun as well as being a pretty hilarious workout. The scenery in the mountains was absolutely jaw dropping and it felt like something out of a storybook. We have successfully completed our snowshoe expedition, ending it with a slide down the mountain on one of these things. No injuries, no deaths today. It has just started snowing so hopefully we're going to head back inside now and have some tea. Our very last stop on this trip was the Ice Festival in Sunkyo, a festival that has been held here since 1976. We have found ourselves at the most incredible ice festival in the middle of the mountains. My mouth is starting to lock up because it is so cold and I'm starting to talk a little bit funny, but I would say if you are scared of sharp objects, I would not recommend looking up. This is unreal. 
Holy. It's completely outdoors and temperatures fall between negative 10 to 20 degrees Celsius. So you're going to want to rug up. The entire place is like an ice amusement park with pillars, ice tunnels and domes where you can even go ice climbing if you're feeling game. Cheers Hokkaido, you were a winter wonderland. <laughs>